People enter the historic Painted Desert Inn at the park and watch cultural demonstrators. The cultural demonstration program at Petrified Forest National Park is a tradition as old as the Painted Desert Inn. Here, local artisans have the opportunity to not only sell their work, but also share their cultural and historical connections to the region with park visitors. D. Jackson, silversmith. When I was young, my grandparents owned a trading post on the Navajo Reservation. My great-grandmother was the one who opened it with my grandmother, Maude Hubble. I had heard about the programs that they were having up this way, and so I thought I'd enjoy coming to demonstrate for these people here at Petrified Forest. I was very lucky because my grandmothers on both sides were the ones that were strong about me learning how to learn my craft. My main goal was to become a silversmith. That's what I like to do. I love about having people look at my work and some of the things that I do with it. I see the paintings and the or the pictures they have here of all the rugs and jewelry that they had that was similar to our trading posts that we had. There's a lot of history here and people ask questions about the Native Americans that were probably prominent to this place in this area. I think it's very interesting interacting with the guests about the hotel and about my work. Lucille Smith, rug weaver. My mother's mother, she wove rugs all her life. I used to sit beside her when I was about five, six years old. I would watch her hand going back and forth and making design. Come closer, she'd say. Put your hand in here and pull the thread this way, she said, and pound it down with this little temper. And she helped me how to put design in and everything. And then we went to the trading post and the trader bought it off of us. And my, my grandmother says, now you got little money. You better buy yourself a pair of socks. My father used to travel through here back in probably late 30s. And he always talked about this place. He said, we stop at this place. He called it Zoo. He says they have wolves over here in the cage. So my daughter-in-law and I were traveling to Phoenix. I stopped here many years ago, I said. So we came in, we met one of the ranger lady, and I told her I was a weaver, and I told her that my father used to travel through here. And then she said, why don't you come and weave rugs here, demonstrate. Alfonso John, beater and silversmith. I moved from um, the city back to the reservation and I couldn't find a job so I had to create income somehow. So I decided to get into uh, making jewelry. I would do beadwork, civil work, and wire work combining all different types of techniques and five years later and that's just where I am. What I really like about beadwork is that uh, something, an idea that you want to go and create, beadwork can get you there because you can just go and form it and create the type of style that you want. This one here the Native awesome. American design and jewelry here in the Southwest is well known, so you see a lot of that work printed over and over again. I just kind of wanted to do something completely different and unique. People come here to this uh, Painted Desert Inn just to experience the Southwest and what it's like. The amount of people that come through here is pretty incredible. Sometimes I have really, really good days, about maybe 300 on a slow day, basically. It's been a great, great experience for me. Tatiana Darmer, beater. We lived out here, but then we didn't realize that the petrified force were th that important to a lot of people. I came out here, and and my first experience was I loved it, you know, because I got to meet a lot of people from the across the country, and a lot of people from foreign countries, and knowing that they were interested in some of the things that was the natural part of the country. I talk about my craft a little bit and I tell them how I fix my, my jewelries and how, it, how much time it takes to, to do them. I think people really appreciate the fact that this is really nice because you are the one that's doing it and we get to talk to you. 
May Horseman Beater. I got involved by my sister. She was selling here and she didn't have a ride, so I used to bring her out here, drop her off, and I'd go home, pick her up in the evening. Then one day she says, you're not dropping me off anymore, you're going to come stay with me. And so I, I, would, I started helping her with the beads and all that, so she was, she says, you're going to do your own beads and you sell them and, and I'll do mine. I grew up learning how to beat. I let grow up learning how to do designs. I grew up uh, a lot of finger work. It, I didn't see it as a art, but it, I saw that as something Grandma did, and she wanted me to help. And I, I love helping Grandma. My family didn't really have the money to, to buy a necklace and earrings. So I, those are the things that I, I did. Jacob Smith, family historian. One of the great things about being at the Petrified Forest as a cultural demonstrator, it also gives you a great opportunity to tell a little bit about your ancestry and where you come from and your family history. One of the things I like to share is a story about the Navajo Code Talkers. My grandfather was a Navajo Code Talker that served in the South Pacific Theater and utilized a unique code that they developed within their Navajo language to basically help the South Pacific Theater in winning the war. And it's the only American code in the history of war never to be broken. So when we bring our display, I've got some discharge papers that validify that he was actually there. We have his medal that he received, and we also have a, a cool G.I. Joe that showcases the Navajo Code Talkers, and it has a little, tells a little bit about the code, and it's got the cool history about behind the, the Navajo Code Talker G.I. Joe as well. It's a great thing as far as demonstrating and also giving and informing people who have never heard the story. Cultural demonstrations occur throughout the year at Painted Desert Inn National Historic Landmark.